Minecraft. The battle to retake the NPC village from hordes of mobs is on. This is episode 7 of Brian taking on Good's 404 survival challenge map. Let's get started. Okay, I've got extremely minimal inventory. I am going to try to build a stairway down if I can. Although I expect... Oh, there were still guys. There's still a little bit of lava right there. Alright, that could work in my favor. I will wait for the skeletons to die. Oh, crap. Alright. Well, I'll probably get shut off in just a moment. But let me try to make a stairway down. So that I have it here for the future. And I hear bad guys. And so now I'm just going to run and put out some light in different places that it's dark and try to get a sense of what all is out here. There's actually a fair bit of light. And yeah, because I guess there's some glowstone in the ground here, and so I'm just going to light up a few different places. I see a bunch of endermen and different guys over there. Oh, oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> well, that's another reason that we take minimal inventory when we go on kind of these little recon missions. And so we fell in a trap, and that actually makes me feel kind of good, because rather than it being suicide, it was actually death by a trap, and so I'll feel better about the death, death counter. And yeah, I think basically I'm going to take my last ten torches and just go do that one more time. And yeah, light up a little bit more and also see kind of what just fell in the trap. And then I'm going to have to go home in order to get a few more supplies and... Yeah, update my little death counter. And so, okay, so it looks like there's a whole big square area, I don't know how well you can see it, that seems to have fallen out over there. And so it's always possible that there's another one of those traps somewhere over on this side as well. But let's just go ahead and run on down. Got some enemies fighting each other over there, it sounds like. Okay, I got some spiders who are chasing me. I want to run out kind of more to the limits of the outside over here. Sprinting away from all these enemies. Get a nice fair bit of light out here. Hello, skeleton. Goodbye, skeleton. And... Ooh. Some kind of, uh... Oh, dear. I don't know what that was. I guess I was just creepers and skeletons doing their thing. Alright, but we managed to get a fair bit of light out here and kind of see a little bit of what's around here. I am probably going to die very soon now, but I will try to... Oh, crap, crap, crap! All right, that's fine. We got a fair bit of light out there. This is where I'm going to try to go next. Hopefully the light will mean that we'll have fewer enemies next time. But I will go ahead and respawn. So now I've died four times, uh, two more times just now. And so I am going to basically go back home and bring over some more supplies over here uh, so that we can then use this really as our base and restock. And I'm also going to get some iron to make the iron pick so that we can mine some of the diamonds that we found in the ceiling. And, yeah, I'm not sure if I should turn them into a sword or what I should do. And I also need to feel a little bit more comfortable in terms of, like, reconnaissance mission that I'm not about to lose all my items before I go walking in somewhere with a diamond sword. But, in any case, those are my plans. I'll head on back. I will see you guys when we are stocked up over here. Okay, so I brought some supplies to the house. I crafted an iron pick. Looks like that diamond is safe to mine. Uh, although I think it fell on the floor. And so I made a little staircase up, and so I will take the staircase down. There's my diamond. And then there were a couple more in the ceiling over here, and I'm not sure if I've lit up the ceiling over there, so I need to check that out as well. But in any case, I'm going to grab all these diamonds, and I haven't decided if and what I'm going to use them for yet. It turns out that some of the diamond veins up in the ceiling are larger than I first expected. And so we're going to find a fair bit of diamonds up here. Okay, I might have gotten all the diamonds out of the ceiling. It looks like there still might be something in the ceiling. And I just wanted to come take a peek at what was down here. And it looks like that's going to be somewhere else to go as well. But I need to get a little bit more light on the ceiling still. And I'm going to need more blocks to do that. So I'll be right back. And my tree just grew here, which is very happy. And so I'm going to cut down the tree as well. And sure enough, there's some more diamonds in the center of the ceiling. I can't quite reach them from here, but I'll get them. Oops, I accidentally missed recording a short section just a moment ago. 
But basically, I'm trying to make more progress in this room, so I still have minimal inventory. I did manage to complete the staircase down and light up more of the area that's kind of right around uh, the entryway. And I'm just trying to put torches out and kind of get more of this lit up. There's definitely still a lot of mobs around here, and so I'm just kind of sprinting around trying to avoid them. And then go find dark areas. Ugh. That I could then... Ugh. Oh, I don't know that I'm going to live through this one. We'll see. I can sprint back. As long as I manage to regain some health here. Oh, crap. Darn it. All right. So that's another death. We're up to five deaths now. But we have a whole lot more of that lit. And I didn't lose much stuff over there, since I do have my sword and different things. Let's grab, yeah, another pile of ten torches. And just try to run back there again, pick up my stuff. And yeah, continue setting out a little bit of light until we have this area mostly lit. Alright, and so all of my stuff should be right over here. Alright. I'm going to sprint around. Yeah, there are plenty of skeletons around here. Yikes. And eventually, one of them is going to hit me. Alright, so I don't know that I'm going to be able to make a ton of progress over by the skeletons. But here's some darkness. Oops! Oh no! Oh no! It's another one of those sand traps. Well, this is a good reason to do a reconnaissance mission like this. Let's see if I can manage to... Yay! Get back and stay alive. Uh, yes, it's a good reason to do a reconnaissance mission where you're not carrying much inventory because there could be traps like that. And so somewhere over on the left, uh, I opened up another one of those sand traps. Yep, there it is. And there's a diamond. Uh, so there continue to be more diamonds, but they're definitely scary out here. And I'm getting this mostly lit up, and so I wonder if I walk away from this area and come back if some of the mobs will despawn. I don't even remember kind of like mob spawning in 1.8 if they do despawn now, and so I'm not sure kind of what to expect there. And the other thing I could do is I could uh, bring a lava bucket. And, hmm. Yeah, I still don't want to risk losing my lava bucket yet. And I actually still do have a number of torches on me. Yeah, and so I think I'll actually just go ahead and reorganize my stuff. And just try to tackle this room once again. And we'll just do this, I don't know, three or four more times. Ooh, there's creepers over here. They could explode and do nasty things to me. There's something else on the ground over there. It might just be watermelons or something. And I guess I should try to take a look inside some of these houses or NPC villages or, you know, whatever they are. That one's very dark. Yeah, I'm not sure kind of what it is that I'm supposed to do over here. And yeah, so I'm just going to take another run and try to light a little bit more up and see what we manage to do. All right, apparently we managed to get some creepers to blow up, which was not what I was intending to do. All right, let's get some light over here in the corner. Here comes another creeper, so I'm just going to outrun him. Let's try cutting over through here between these houses. Just get some more light on the plane where there isn't much light right now. Oh, dear. That's just watermelon. Oh, uh, all right. Dead again. <laughs> I love watching the enemies come over and laugh at you. Alright, and so I guess we can afford to do that maybe one more time, and now I'm losing track. Is that like six deaths, or...? I'll take ten more torches. I'll try to run over there and see if I can pick up that stuff and continue to light things up. Ooh! I heard the explosion, and I'm not sure. I guess it might have been out there where I just was, and skeletons were fighting creepers. This tree grew again, and yeah, we'll come back and get the tree. While my stuff is still sitting out there on the plane, not that it was all that valuable. I got like a stone sword and a stone pickaxe and some bones from killing some skeletons, but let's try once more. I think this will be my last... Oops, crap. Well, now I'm not going to be able to get back. I need bricks. I need blocks. To repair the staircase. And so I will get some blocks and repair the staircase. I decided to bring the lava bucket along to help me repair the staircase. And so I'm going to once again just kind of dump the lava there for a moment and then pick it back up. 
That should kill off some of the mobs and give me a little bit of light down there for a short period of time. And then, hopefully, I don't want to die with the lava bucket and accidentally lose it. Hopefully, that'll make it easier to repair the staircase. So we'll see how that goes. And I hear the lava burning some things up, and it's burning some creepers and whatnot. And I have a little bit more light over here. And it's a good chance that the lava will also burn Brian up, and so I need to be wary of that. And unfortunately, given how this kind of exploded, I don't have an easy way to build back down. But I'm okay to build kind of a longer path. All right, that's fine. And here is some of my stuff. Here's some more of my stuff. There's where a creeper exploded. It's definitely gotten quieter out in this plane. Oh, yuck. <laughs> Um, I don't think I picked up my sword. I'm not sure where that is. And it's still pretty dark in some sections, and obviously... Oh my goodness! Sprint! Alright, I'm going to try to light up a little bit more and see if I can manage to still stay alive. Oh my goodness! Run! Here's a bunch of mobs that were chasing me earlier. I'm going to try to run through the middle. And I think we might make it back. I can avoid this skeleton and that skeleton. Hooray! Okay. I think that's the last of those types of runs that I'll try to do. And at this point, we have enough of this lit that uh, I think I can actually bring a sword in here and actually try to kill enemies and make progress. And so, that is what I will do next. But I will need to get equipped for that and also eat some food, so I will see you guys again in a moment. Okay, I have a little bit more inventory, and so we're going to try to take on this room a little bit more, quote-unquote, for real. Oh, there's a bunch of Endermen who've spawned in here. But it definitely has fewer mobs than it used to. There's still a very dark spot over by the well, as well as a dark spot over here, and so I want to try to light those things up, and I'm trying to decide... I guess the Endermen I can probably manage to avoid... And, ooh, there's a bunch of creepers over there. There's still some lava that hasn't dried up over here, and so I will use that to my advantage. And I think, actually... Yeah, to get over here quickly, I think I'm going to jump down and then try to light up some over here, but also fight off some enemies. <laughs> All right, so I got that area lit. I got that area lit. And now I just want to turn around and see if I manage to fight off some enemies on this plane, how successful I can be. Ugh. Oh, I should be using critical hits. Of course, I didn't manage to get any critical hits there. But, yes, we're definitely far enough along where we can make some kind of progress on this plane. Uh, there's still a bunch of creepers spawning over there. There's the Endermen, who I don't want to look at. So long as the middle of the plane is still kind of very well lit... I'm going to use that as kind of... And so it's a... I, yeah, I fell in the lava in here, right? I don't think skeletons can shoot me across this gap. Yes, yeah, so that's a bunch of lava. And so it kind of provides a little bit of light over there. And so we just need to kind of pick a direction to try to make progress. There's a bunch of creepers over there. I see endermen spawning on the roofs. Right, roofs. I need to make sure that I light up the roofs of these buildings as I get things as well. And... Oh, and there's a wheat farm over there. I can finally have wheat as food. Not that melon aren't delicious, but it would be nice to have some variety in Minecraft Steve's diet. All right. Oh, and I see a chest over there. All right. So that is definitely worth taking a look at. And yes, let's try to go over to this building. There's Endermen on the roof, but is there also somewhere I can just walk in inside? And I guess it's lit up inside, and there's a chest in here. And a furnace? Nothing in the furnace. But I guess if you manage to... Ooh, neat! I will happily grab all of that goodies. And yeah, I guess if you had screwed things up earlier... Would... Oh, crap! Let's get away from the creeper. Let's sprint for a moment kind of out into the clearing, where we're the most well-protected. And we do have the creeper coming at us. But that's okay. Ugh. 
That was close. And here comes the skeleton. But let's see if I can take him on. Oh, I thought I was going to knock him in. Alright, I was trying to knock him into the lava with sprint jumping. Didn't work as well as I'd hoped. I'm not wearing any armor, by the way, mostly because I feel like I don't want to waste it. I'm pretty sure that... <laughs> Obviously some Endermen came over by the well over here at some point. Alright, so we looked inside that building. And I could afford to regain a little bit more health. And there's a spider nearby over here. Let's go ahead and take care of him. Ugh. Spiders hit hard. I guess all the enemies hit hard. And it looks like that next little building doesn't have anything inside of it. I have some sand, but I can stack some sand in order to try to get over on the roof and put some light on the roof, and so that's the thing I'm going to do next. I will take a look to see if that... If there does happen to be anything. Oops. I hear Skeleton. There he is. I didn't see him, but I hear him. And if he was firing at me, obviously he's gotten close. Okay, let's see if I can take out this skeleton better. Neat. I think he must have taken some fall damage at some point, because that only took two hits. But yeah, we're definitely making progress over in this area. There's a church over here, and there's another skelly, but he seems to be alone. So go ahead, fire one more at me, bro. I'll take a hit. Strafe. Hit. Yes. Okay. This seems to be a fairly decent strategy. Okay. Ah, oh, got too close. Alright, and so hopefully... Oh, I see there's a spawner up in there. Did you see that up through the window? I saw that there's a spawner in that building. And so... Oh, crap! And this is a creeper spawner, apparently. Um... I can defeat you like that. Okay, and so if I put light up near the windows, then I think we'll prevent the creepers from spawning on the side. And... Oh, crap. There's a skeleton spawner in there as well, I guess. Oh, dear, and I'm running out of health. I am going to try to retreat and regain some health. And hope that there aren't spiders up in here. Okay, great. Uh, yes, so obviously there is a spawner. Ooh, I just saw a spider. Yes, right up there. He almost looks like he's glitching. I guess he's just trying to climb the wall. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's spawners up in the church, and so that makes me wonder if there's good stuff also up in the church. Oh, I'm not regaining health because I don't have enough food. And so I definitely want to try to tackle that area. And yeah, I'm just going to wait to regain some health for a moment, and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, while I was regaining some health, I went back to the house, dropped off the diamond and a couple of other things, and picked up a few more torches. And so I guess we'll try to head back out over here again. I There's a spider like somewhere right around here, I think. Actually, if it's a spider, I might be able to see him if I carve out one corner. All right, I still don't see him. He might fall on my head. If he does, oh well. Okay. Seems like we're doing okay. There's a bunch of Endermen over here that I'm going to try not to look at. Some spiders just spawned over here. Crap. Oh, this is yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Ah, critical hits, critical hits, critical hits, critical hits. And let's get more light in this corner. Okay. Um, and I am still regaining health. Okay, at 90% of food. And so my goal still is to get all of the... Uh, church lit up over here. And I don't want to look at the Enderman. And it seems like it's reasonably well lit over here, and so I'm going to go ahead and start walking over here and add a little bit more light kind of against the wall to light some more of this up. Try to light up a little bit more. Crap, 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 crap. Oh my goodness. There's another skeleton. All right, still regaining some health, still regaining some health. Strafe a little bit, strafe a little bit, and then hit, and then strafe. Darn it. All right. <sighs> and that thing is still going to be spawning. I need to get a kind of staircase up to the top. So let's do this. Crap, where is he? Oh, he just spawned and fell. All right. 
There we go. So the fact that they are spawning and kind of falling immediately when they first spawn helps me out because it means it takes fewer hits. Oops. To get them. I still don't have a step up here. Oh dear. I think he might be below me. Oh crap, 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 crap. <laughs> oh dear. And there's still a bunch more enemies over there. All right, I need to back off for a moment. Except for there's a creeper over there as well. Let's try going out into the middle that's very well lit, hopefully. Okay, it seems reasonably safe over here. And so I almost have the staircase up um, to the top of the church. And so I am going to continue to try to do that. At some point in a minute, I might need to eat some rotten zombie flesh, but that's okay. Oh, crap. And now some guys are getting closer, and so I'm... Oh, crap, crap, crap. Pardon me, Mr. Enderman. And unfortunately... Ugh. Yuck. Oh, I'm not sure I'm going to survive this. Oh, dear. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Run. Okay. That's okay. Each way, each time, we're making a little bit of progress. Okay, and so I have a staircase that goes up to the roof there now. I still have... I don't have blocks. I guess I could just harvest some blocks right here. Assuming there isn't a trap that's going to go off when I harvest a block or something. So I can get a few more sandstone blocks. And then once I regain a little bit more health once again, uh, yeah, we'll try to get up and see if we can silence the spawners that are at the top of that church. And so I will wait until I get up to where I'm just down two hearts, and then I'll start walking over there, and we should be in good shape. Okay. Let's try this again. I'm also going to put a torch there. I don't know where the skeleton is. I obviously lost some torch light over here, and so I'm going to just replace that light like that. We have a spider, but I can take on one enemy at a time. Okay, and now I have some blocks to go ahead and recreate this portion of the staircase. And, all right, that skeleton, all right, crap! Yes, okay. That should help a lot in terms of the spawning. And, nope, nope, he's still spawning way up on the roof. All right, so I'm going to pillar up. Oh, there's this, okay. Spawner, spawner, spawner. Okay. Great. Great. And this is also a nice lookout. That seems to be pretty safe. I'm up high enough that I don't think necessarily like the skeletons can shoot at me. And I definitely don't need these skeleton spawners up here. They're nothing but a menace. Oops. It did just manage to spawn one off the side. But I think where I'm standing on top is sufficiently well lit that it can't spawn. And so I'm just going to take these spawners out. That one might have spawned inside the building. I'm not sure. And there is a ladder back down, and so should I take the ladder down? I guess so. Let me go ahead and put some light. Oh, I can't put light inside because it's next to a ladder. Aha, and there's a chest in here. Let's hope it's something good. Ooh, it's one of these chests. Okay, I am sufficiently armored that I believe I can safely make this back, but I am going to do even more. Here's what I'm going to do. There's some wood in here. There's just one piece, but I'm going to take that one piece of wood and turn it into a crafting table. And then I'm going to plop down the crafting table and go ahead and create a little bit of armor. Not a ton, just a little bit. And that'll give me more confidence that I'm going to safely make it back to the base. And then let's also grab, I'm definitely going to need these items. I wouldn't mind the axe. More buckets are always awesome. Another cake is good. And yeah, this other stuff I don't need so badly. I'll go ahead and grab a shovel just because I don't have a shovel on me. And I guess so long as I have inventory space, there's no reason not to take more stuff, right? These things might be useful at some point. Yeah, all right. I'll just fill up with my inventory with all kinds of silly stuff. Okay, and now, I wonder if I can walk out the ground floor? 
Seems like it. There is a creeper out there and a skeleton out there. And... Yeah, but I bet you I can just make a run for it. And so I'm just going to make a run for it. Oops, there's a skeleton right here, isn't there? Glitching through the wall. I don't know if I killed him. Nope, he's still there. Alright, I don't know if he's still there or not. But I am just going to... Oh, there's a creeper coming right for me. Maybe I will go out a different way. Is that a skeleton? Yes. Okay, I just killed that skeleton. Let's just go out this way. Alright, and I have some armor. And so I should be able to grab, make a run for it. Great. And I am coming back to my home base with more loot. So that is another success. Okay, progress is slow, but we're making progress.